Antebellum is clearly a horror film, of sorts, that tries hard but largely fails to be the socially relevant take on systemic racism that it sets out to be. Jordan Peele set a very high mark for this subgenre with his Oscar-winning Get Out and Follow Up Us. Those movies, which came from some of the same producers as this, while eliciting the required chills of the horror genre, also served as pertinent reminders of the rampant systemic racism still existing after 400 years in America, as well as successfully offering a wickedly satirical pov. Antebellum, from the writing and directing team of Gerard Bush and Christopher Renz, takes itself too seriously to pull off its ambitious hybrid of pre-Civil War slavery in the Antebellum South mixed with a contemporary take that is meant to show us sadly how little has changed, despite the widely divergent societal status enjoyed by the dual parts its star gets to play. Deadline mostly, however, Antebellum is structured in such a confusing manner that it results in a mishmash of messaging despite the best efforts of a game cast including star Janelle Monet, who still manages to shine not only as Eden, an abused slave on a pre-Civil War era plantation, but also as Veronica, a renowned and whip-smart academic and author in the current day. However, a final shot twist is so gimmicky that it negates all that went on for the previous two hours and left me feeling hoodwinked by the filmmakers, especially after investing so much time in the plight of these characters. I could say the film is a combo of 12 Years a Slave the Steve McQueen Oscar Best Picture winner that is another league, far removed from this one, and, spoiler alert, a certain Emmy-nominated TV series that started life as a feature film, but if I were to name the latter it would signal this film's final twist immediately and thus I will not do that. In fact, if you want to view this fresh as I had the opportunity to do, then stay away from all reviews including this one and give it the respect of watching without knowledge of where it is going and how it gets there. The first 40 minutes or so takes place on a sunny southern plantation, or so it seems as the movie opens with idyllic scenes of white folks romping around the place. The other dynamic though is soon revealed as vicious slave owners like the unnamed man played by Eric Lang, as well as Jack Huston's Captain Jasper, basically terrorize their slaves including Eden, Monet, Julia, Kiersey Clemens, and Eli, Tongai Icharisa. After scene after scene of their desperate situation we hear a cell phone ringing off screen. That is the cue to switch to a very different world, the current day life of Veronica Henley, also played by Monet, an academic who is seen tearing a conservative voice to shreds on a TV talk show, 